Back everybody, 712 right now. Hawaii's newest congressional member is back in town after about 50 days on the job. Representative Jill Takuda joins us live now in studio. Good to see you, Jill. Good morning. And I, well, I should call you Representative Takuda. Jill, Jill, just Jill. <laughs> You're still the same old Jill from yes, Kaneohe. Absolutely, always will be. <laughs> well, it's been, you know, 50, about 50 days. Yeah. Uh, you, have you been mingling, getting to know your way around those congressional halls? Absolutely. Now, if you tell me, can I still not get lost between the buildings? I can't. I can't promise you that because it's an absolute maze, uh, but it really has been a wonderful time just really getting to know my fellow colleagues, um, getting my committee assignments, just getting really up to speed quickly, uh, but always great to be able to come back home to Hawaii. Yeah, and you had your swearing in ceremony uh, yes. on Friday, so congratulations mm -hmm. on that. Thank it's you. good to be back and celebrate with you locally. Uh, but going back to the Capitol, you know, you had some committee yeah. assignments. Tell us about how that's going. So, you know, it was really good. We focused on things that would be good for Congressional District 2, for Hawaii in general. So I was really um, happy to be appointed to the Agriculture Committee. It's a big deal this year with the reauthorization of the Farm Bill. It only happens once every five years, and so we can really make it work for um, Hawaii producers and farmers and, quite frankly, our people who need to be fed. Nutrition is a part of that. Uh, and armed services, which we know touches every single one of our islands and our communities. And so was very um, proud to be appointed to that committee, uh, serving on the readiness and military personnel subcommittees, which, again, as we know, for the issues you folks cover every single day, mm -hmm. top of mind for our residents, it's going to go through those subcommittees as well. So. Yeah, and lots of definitely the biggest headlines around the Chinese spy balloon, <laughs> surveillance, I don't know. Everyone got really excited about all these um, shooting down of flying objects. Talk about timing, right? So to be appointed to these committees and subcommittees and immediately get thrown into to all of this. And quite frankly, we know, especially being here in Hawaii, in the Indo-Pacific, um, it's very top of mind, it's front line, and so a lot of eyes are on us, both in D.C. and here at home, as to how are we going to make sure that we play our part in the defense of, yeah. of this country. And we just talked about North Korea as well, you know, the ongoing threat. Uh, but I did want to ask you, uh, you know, you did have a kind of chaotic start, right, with the House Speaker, uh, you know, how many days of not being elected yet? But oh, four. Now, yeah. <laughs> so. But uh, you finally got in, and um, yes. how, how has that relationship been? Now that he's finally at the helm, uh, you know, Kevin McCarthy, as well as the Republicans that caused all that stir, mm -hmm. how's that relationship been for you? Do you work with them at all? You know, I will say that not that much, but a lot of the work I believe that's going to happen across the lines and across the aisles will come in the committee work. Mm -hmm. And I'm really looking forward to that. And I will tell you that uh, having done a few hearings now in both agriculture and especially more armed services, I've actually um, been very impressed that it has been bipartisan, it's been civil in terms of the tone. That hasn't been the case in all of the, the committee hearings, as yes. we've probably seen on television, uh, but happy that when it comes to the defense of our country and the feeding of our people, uh, it has been very civil discussions. And so looking forward to crossing those aisles and finding ways we can work together. The first few bills I've introduced, in fact, to support our local coffee and macadamia industry has been bipartisan. Um, as well, working with others across the aisle to put forward that. So uh, Great it's news. definitely going to be a work in <laughs> progress and, and one I'm looking forward to. And we didn't get to go into it, but, you know, we ha we ran out of time. But, I, you know, we, we do have your counterpart, a representative at Case, already. Yes. You guys trying to feel each other out, that Absol relationship. <laughs> We've got to work together to make sure all of Hawaii is taken care of. So, For sure. absolutely. Thank you so much, Representative Jill Takuda, joining us live in studio here on Sunrise. We are